Hey everyone, so I'm going to be reviewing Continuum V5 RC2 by ISAR1. It's a gingerbread ROM, and I believe it's the first um, first ROM to come out based on the i9000 gingerbread release. And um, it's running uh, the Talon kernel by Exists, and uh, it's a very speedy um, release um, considering how um, early it is and um, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos um, I've had my exams so uh, it's been a while and it took me quite a while to um, to get on to installing continue uh, and most of you probably already have but if you're on the fence and are thinking about installing it now this should be a decent review so um, let's get down to it so first off, there are going to be two launchers here. Uh, there's going to be the regular gingerbread launcher and the touchwiz launcher. The regular launcher has the um, scrolling app drawer and um, everything we know about gingerbread. And of course, uh, the touchwiz launcher is going to have the side scrolling um, app drawer. So, um, it's a matter of preference. I, I've installed my own launcher over here, uh, the Go launcher. Um, just trying that out. But anyway, um, I've had a problem with the TouchWiz launcher. I cannot find the two, um, well, I can find the browser. It's right there. But the phone is missing here. So that's something to um, think about. I flashed a theme over Continuum V5. It's a, it's a, it's one of the recommended themes. It's called Sensation. Um, so I don't know if it's a problem with Sensation. I haven't had uh, time to go check. But um, it's something to keep in up, keep in mind with the TouchWiz launcher. Um, the good thing about this um, this uh, theme is the dialer it's absolutely stunning as you can see here so um, I definitely like the theme for that and um, if you try a, a launcher of your choice like ADW or Go X, you're not gonna have a problem trying to find the phone because it's gonna be right there where it should be so just drag it drop it there and you're good to go so something we have to talk about here is um, the glow that you get from gingerbread. It's obviously in this ROM because it's a gingerbread ROM, but nonetheless, it's it's cool and it's something that should be taken note of. It's definitely uh, refreshing to to look at, and well, it, it's pretty cool. And then the other thing is the CRT lock animation. We've seen this in ROMs um, as a shutdown animation, but as you can see, we got the CRT lock animation from the Nexus S. Um, I'm not sure if it's it came originally with the i9000 um, release, but it's definitely here, which is very cool, and um, I definitely appreciate that. Um, as you can see, when we're looking at the ROM itself, Everything is very smooth with uh, very subtle animations like when you open the app drawer it slowly fades in and it's, it's pretty cool. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, um, it slowly fades in and it's very cool and um, when you leave uh, the app drawer it slowly fades out and you're back in your home page. So, um, those are very nice animations, nice touches, and I'm uh, definitely happy about them. So, this being an early release of the i9000 Gingerbread um, ROM, uh, we are definitely going to encounter some issues. Uh, the main one being that the soft keys do not light up, and that can be quite annoying sometimes, as you can see over there. They do not show up. Um, in the middle of the night when you're trying to find um, to go back or home or something it's definitely going to be annoying um, and keep keep the lights on does not work um, if you know what keep the lights on is it's um, 
It's an app uh, for the Captivate that keeps your soft key lights on permanently as long as the screen is on. That does not work, uh, so that's a bit of a bummer. But I'm sure this will be fixed. Um, another problem is that the home button uh, haptic does not work again, so we're uh, waiting on a fix for that too. And um, other than that, uh, if I go to my launcher here, we have the problem that it's slightly sluggish. Um, you can feel some lag um, while you're going through compared to some of the um, uh, Froyo ROMs that are out. It's a bit laggier. Um, the screen transitions are nicer though. Um, but there's that problem where there's a little bit of lag. Although you can't complain, it's a really early um, release, so it's going well, and the fact that it's already at a uh, release candidate is, um, I'm really shocked, and um, great, great work by Izar, so uh, definitely a uh, shout out goes out to him uh, for his great development. Um, so other than that, there's not, not much to say, um, the ROM is a great ROM, you definitely should try flashing it. Um, the issues are very minor, um, so this can be an everyday ROM. And of course, uh, development is strong on this and the kernel. And it's, uh, I think, the Talon just got an update right now too, so I'm not sure what was fixed or what was replaced, but um, it's definitely a good, uh, good team going here with uh, Continuum V5. There are several themes too, so a lot you can choose from so um, I'd say go ahead and try flashing it because uh, it's definitely worth it because now there's gingerbread and this can only get better uh, the fact that it's doing so well so early uh, is pretty awesome so that should be it for me and um, I'll see you guys later on my next review uh, probably perception too but yeah I'll see you then